Hunt. <laughs> Hello again, and we're with Jackie from CSI. So, why are you here today? Uh, well, I was invited to your school today to carry out a series of workshops with your primary school clusters. Um, and basically the workshop is very much about infusing young primary school children into life in science before they come to a, a big academy like yourselves. So how did you get into science in STEM? Um, basically my then eight-year-old son came home from school one day saying that he thought science was boring. Um, and my background is uh, engineering actually. Uh, for 15 years and I knew science wasn't boring so I needed to, I wanted to come up with an idea which um, was very hands-on for the kids to engage in science and I've just used forensic science or CSI as, as the subject to do it with and it, it works really well. Okay. Do you think it's important for children to learn that STEM isn't boring, that it could help you in the future? Absolutely, yeah. I mean as somebody who comes, as I say, from an engineering recruitment background, um, definitely a lot of a lot of uh, students actually out there are under the impression that um, um, engineering is n nothing more than a mechanic. You know, they don't mm -hmm. think of the designs of buildings or how they were built. Um, you know, so it's basically getting the you know the message out there that there's so many great professions within STEM. Did you do anything to do with STEM during school days? Or yeah, I did. I always liked science. Um, um, but the idea of doing this was probably about 20 years ago, but I didn't, um, I didn't really have the bottle to do it till about eight years ago because I realised that children were turning off to science and the only way you're going to switch them on is like events like this Big Bang yeah. event here today. So when did you realise you wanted to do engineering as a career? Um, probably when I was about 20, 21, so a few years ago. <laughs> What advice would you give to someone who wanted to go into forensics? Um, if you wanted to actually go into forensics, I would say uh, definitely you need to be studying um, your, your sciences. Ideally chemistry, ideally biology, um, but certainly your sciences. Um, lots of universities out there now which are doing the forensic degrees. Um, I'm actually based in Lincolnshire and our own, our own university there, Lincoln University, um, 10 years ago did one actual forensic degree they now do five which may incorporate criminology and um, different things but um, it's also fair to say to remember that forensics is such a big subject I'm just touching on CSI the crime scene investigation part but there's anthropology toxicology entomology ballistics it just goes on and on so there's loads of different areas for students to actually study um, it's a fascinating subject to, to actually study and, and get involved in hands-on science. So as you've been walking around, is there any exhibits that have inspired you or took you fancy? Oh, lots. Yeah, you know, lots. Um, I just love science and STEM activities, but the, the thing for me, it's, it's when I see the actual children engaging in, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's to do with science, when they're actually engaging and they've got that curiosity when you're at primary school probably more so than secondary school because at primary you're like, you're like a little sponge you take it all on board at secondary school um, it's just slightly different so can you get them infused at this age with what you're doing today this event mm -hmm. then hopefully when they come to come to an academy like this they'll already already be infused to to actually join you know or take um, you know the BTECs or the GCSEs mm -hmm. within the sciences. Um, have you had any positive feedback from like students and staff and that about like your work what today or mm -hmm. today. generally today oh yeah yeah the, well the kids all seem to be enjoying it so um very busy and they're getting they're getting a bit mucky so <laughs> um but no they're, they're all very positive very excited um you know about the the actual subject i think with csi as well we're all pretty curious you know if, if, if a crime happened we'd be quite curious as to you know yeah. why what when yeah. how sort of thing do you think criminology and criminal investigation has been a bit stereotyped by shows like ncis yeah CSI? yeah definitely and um, dare i say it, i'm not really a fan of csi ncis I, I don't mind but um sometimes they're glamorized mm. so in terms of an actual crime being committed 
and you know solved within 50 minutes by the most beautiful actress in the world wearing nine inch killer heels um that's our entertainment that's for entertainment at nine o'clock at night so sometimes it portray you know in the real world it's not like that at all it's very unglamorous somebody could be outside you know combing a field looking for a piece of evidence um might take them nine hours you know in the cold the wind the rain just, just for one piece of evidence. So, um, yeah, they, they, they do glamorise it. But it's, it's entertainment, so putting it into perspective. Um, have you ever been to a Big Bang in a school before? Yeah, I have, but it was a couple of years ago. It's somewhere in the East Midlands. I think it's probably uh, Derby or Nottingham. Um, and I've just, actually, I've just done one down in, in London. It was more, it, it wasn't actually a big bang, but it was a, a massive STEM event called as by STEMX, which is an organisation which really promotes the STEM subjects to girls, um, as opposed to, to, to boys, because certainly in London, they're, they're struggling to get girls into the profession of STEM. Um, and that was massively supported, big sponsors, and yeah, huge, huge success. So the more... The more um, sort of events like this, which you know are laid on by the schools, the better, because we'll get more people into engineering, which is exactly what we want to do. What kind of things do you do on a daily basis to do with your job? Oh gosh. Um, well, if I'm doing a workshop in a school, so if I came to an academy like this, um, and let's say I'm going to pick on your year eights, and I did a year eight event for maybe 120 um, students, it would take me a whole day to prepare for that. So I need a whole day to prepare and then come into your school and deliver. And normally what I'm doing at the moment is just one hour sort of bite-sized um, chunks, if you like, of, of forensics. Um, but normally in a whole day, um, the students would learn about the theory, processes and applications used at a crime scene investigation. And then in the afternoon, they will get dressed up in white suits, gloves and masks. And then they apply what they've learned to the actual crime scene. Um, so there's 15 crime scenes which are identical, laid out, and they go and actually investigate it. So, yeah, but it's a lot of prep, um, but it's a lot of fun as well. Um, who inspired you to get into forensics and what qualifications did you need? Um, probably my husband um, inspired me because he used to work for the Forensic Science Service, which sadly is no longer. Um, he probably inspired me to, to go into it um, based on... I was quite intrigued as to what he did as a job. Um, and although I was in science, I wanted to, as I say, come up with something which was a little bit different. So um, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know the subject matter was going to be CSI until really, um, you know, he inspired me to do that. So qualifications wise, as I say, ideally, you need to get, a, you know, a qualification from the university. Um, I went back to school, I went back to uh, Lincoln University actually to do a, a forensic course as well. But I had a lot of hands-on experience before actually going back yeah. as well. But the two together, and even now, just continue to learn because it's one of those subjects which is evolving all the time. So, you know, just continue to learn new things and things get outdated and you know, new stuff comes in. Um, so thanks for being interviewed by us today. And we're going to go to our Skype call. So thank you.